Join our WhatsApp group to get daily latest updates. It's totally free. Part 1. You have some time to look at questions 1 to 10. Now listen carefully and answer question 1 to 10. Good morning. Welcome to Royal Vehicle Show House. Please take a seat. How can I help you? Well, I'm thinking of buying a new two-wheeler and I'd like to have some advice. Yes, sure. Do you have any particular model in your mind? I'm interested in Ryder. I've had one before and liked it, but I haven't made up my mind. Sure, sir. We've got different models. Hmm, right. What about the engine size? The one that I've got is a 1 litre engine, but this time I need 1.25 litres. Right. Well, I think the model you're looking for is the Black Cat. Here's the picture. Oh, no. Have you got any other? Yes, here is another. The Leopard. Oh, yes. Have you got it? Yes, I'll just get a few more details. What kind of gears do you want? Automatic or manual? I want automatic. I've already driven manual gears. Right. Well, now, here's the colour chart. Which one would you like to have? The black is very popular at the moment. Yes, it is nice. I like black colour. But actually, I think I prefer this metallic grey. Yes, that's popular too. I think I'll purchase that. Presently, this is out of stock. You will have to book it first. How long will it take to receive the vehicle after booking? Minimum three months and maximum six months. Oh, it's very long. I can't wait for so long. And what about the black one? It's ready. The delivery is within two hours. Then I would prefer the black one. What are the requirements for payment? How would you like to pay? Cash or credit card? First of all, let me know the total price that I have to pay. You have to pay £5,000, a complete price, along with accessories. Oh, it's too high for me to pay all at once. Is there any provision of instalments? Yes, there is. But the documentation will take three to four days, and the head office will first approve it after verification. Then only will it be delivered to you. Oh, that's not a problem for me. I'm working in a government department, so documentation is not a big deal for me. That's fine. For that, you have to fill a form. OK, I'm ready for that. Right. Here is the form. Your name, sir? My name is George Little. It's G-E-O-R-G-E-L-I-T-T-L-E. -E -E. And your address? It's FE 108, Government Department, Street Number 9. Your contact number and department in which you are working? My contact number is 994 Five six seven eight one zero oh, zero, oh, and I'm a French teacher in a government-owned school. Some other documents are also required. What are they? Your salary slip and two proofs of identity, such as a school ID card and a PAN card number. OK, it is easy for me. I'll deposit it tomorrow and my first instalment too. As soon as you deposit the requirements and instalment, you will get the delivery. Right. Thank you. Thank you. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
Now turns to part two. Part two. You are going to hear a radio talk on wise spending program. Here, the presenter will give some tips on spending money like a wise man. The talk of the day is related to spending on baby cradle. First, look at questions eleven to eighteen. Now listen to the recording and answer questions eleven to eighteen. Hello and welcome to today's Wise Spending Program, where we are giving some wise tips on spending money like a wise man. In today's show, we are talking about baby cradles. The cradles were displayed in a furniture fair organised by the state authorities. Let's start about different types of cradles that are for babies of up to one year old. There were three types of cradles displayed, fit for the budget of every pocket. We'll feature the good points, the problems, and the remarks also. The first cradle was displayed under the name "Unique Baby Cradle." It has several good points to mention. Most of the mothers like the wheels, which make it easy to move. They were happy that it can be moved anywhere, even in the kitchen while working. The only problem is that it requires a large space to settle. Most of the mothers gave remarks not suitable for small rooms. The next cradle was Happy Kids Cradle. The mothers were pleased to see the facilities. The cradle is adjustable; can be adjusted according to the space. It is easy to move as it has four wheels and good brakes. It can even be easily moved on stairs also. A lot of space is there to hang attractive, colourful toys, which make it compatible to the name Happy Kids. Mothers marked it excellent and safe to spend on. And finally, the last display was Smile Baby Cradle. It has iron bars and found in different shapes, like Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, and other cartoon characters. They are very colourful and attractive. The negative thing is that they are very small in size, and is after three months of the baby being born, it has to be changed. The cradle is safe in every aspect. Its attractive wheels will help to move it from one place to other. It can be folded and is easy to carry in the car also. So most of the young mothers were attracted towards it. The remarks are must buy for newborn champs. Now look at questions nineteen to twenty. As the talk continues, answer questions nineteen and twenty. So this was all about the cradles displayed during the furniture fair. Mothers were mainly concerned with the safety rather than the cost and beauty. But yes, young mothers found, if beauty is there with safety, it's like a cherry on the cake. They were all curious about the facilities, convenience, and price. Also, we hope they all found things that they were searching for. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part three. Part three. You will listen to a talk between a tutor and two students, Jenny and Jack. Three of them are speaking about the survey which Jenny and Jack did as part of their exam assessment. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-three.
Listen to the interview conversation and answer questions 21 to 23. Jenny and Jack, I asked you to look at the case study for Max Car Industry as part of your exam assessment. I personally feel it's interesting as they are facing a lot of problems. The car industry was once at boom, but now it's hard for them to survive. Let's summarise some of the problems the industry is facing. Um, yeah. The first thing I noticed, sort of despite of regular advertisement, their sales are dropping. There are many causes, as mentioned in the case study. First is increased competition due to many new companies with different models. Second is the strike of the workers for three months and another is running with less budget and resources. So they are really in trouble. Yes, I think it's true. And Jack, you visited the company personally, didn't you? What did the company authorities say about the downfall? Yes, I met the managers, directors and the CEO. They said they invested the resources at the wrong time, which was a total wastage of money, time and resources. They had to pay back large interest rates. Many sincere employees left the company, so they are not able to launch the new product on time. Now look at questions 24 to 30. As the talk continues, answer question 24 to 30. Now, let's discuss what a company should do in this situation. OK, Jenny, what do you say? Well, in my opinion, they can sell out their previous name and start with a new name. And this time, they should be more cautious about the mistake they did, or in simple words, learn from previous failures. You mean to say making a new company with a new image? Exactly, yes. New things, new people, new name and new image. Well, a sudden problem can't have a sudden solution. You should look into the running management approach. So, the analysis must be in that direction. What's your opinion, Jack? Yes, I think it's interesting. I also read the case study and visited it personally. Uh, frankly speaking, I found the study interesting. It is a big company and they are capable of sorting out their problems efficiently. OK. Now, let's stop the discussion here, and I want both of you to visit some branded car companies and prepare a report with suggestions for Max Car Industry to overcome their present problem. We've already completed that survey, and here are some suggestions. OK, that's great. Tell me some of them. Jenny, first you tell. I personally feel they should change their advertising strategies to endorse their product. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think only advertisement can do much for a big company. Unless they invest money to attract the right level of investment, they can't move ahead. Secondly, the skilled workers are on the backbone of a company, and to keep them intact, finance is required. I had a talk with the marketing manager of the company. He said that the marketing team is very strong, but they are overloaded with money problems and other responsibilities. I even went to the production department. Most of the machines are outdated, their efficiency is low, and not even producing quality products, so they must introduce new machinery. Well, yes, I personally agree with your survey findings. The company must think realistically to compete with the competitors in the market, and they must work with innovation and novelty to sell their brand and the products in the market. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part four. Part four. You will hear a lecture given by a spiritual leader related to the use of the will. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40.
Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Every expression of goodwill depends for its potency on its correspondence with the divine will so far as we can understand it. The inflow and stimulation of will contacted on the mental plane of consciousness will inevitably empower both those of selfish will and those of goodwill. The urgent need becomes obvious for men and women of goodwill to focus their efforts on using the increased inflow of will energy for positive, dynamic thinking. With this energy, we can synthesize the many facets of planetary crisis, think in global terms, and work for the good of the whole. How can this be accomplished? We know that subjective channeling and radiator work in meditation have a constructive and healing effect because goodwill is an expression of the energy of love. Love is the universal characteristic and quality of divine life in our solar system and on this planet. Using the principle that energy follows thought, the mind can invoke and direct much energy, including goodwill, wherever needed. When a group of people think the same thoughts in unison, thought power increases geometrically. We use a horizontal system of relationships to family, nation and humanity to distribute the energy we contact on the spiritual or vertical levels of awareness. It is from these spiritual sources that the inflow of will energy will enter human consciousness. This energy can inspire thinking in line with humanity's highest held planetary good and provide the power to implement inclusive solutions. This energy has seven aspects indicating seven lines of manifestation. These include the will to initiate, unify, evolve, harmonize, act, cause and express. These aspects of the will outline the progressive descent of ideas from formless sources to their anchored expression in the world. The will to initiate is the source of a clearly held purpose which we contact through an understanding of divine purpose and the plan for humanity. Through meditative thought, we can grasp new ideas and increase our vision. This inspires initiative in action. Our will to unify results from the initiative that we see the need to end cleavages between men and nations. The energy of goodwill as an expression of love or wisdom can be found. A true experience and expression of right human relations will inevitably lead to human unity. The will to evolve can be lifted from aspiration for individual progress to the will to aid the evolution of all humanity. Realizing our total unity with all life, we know individual evolution is inevitably linked to the growth of every member of the human family. We save ourselves by serving and loving others. The will to harmonize or relate utilizes a fundamental method of evolution through harmonizing and relating all parts of the vast planetary whole conditions can be established offering the maximum opportunity for the evolution of every member of the human family and of the subhuman kingdoms. Harmonization of the conflicts now conditioning human affairs can now be achieved through sacrifice of material interests, resulting in sharing of physical resources and a growth of spiritual values. The will to act on behalf of all humanity, to assess our actions according to their benefit to the entire human family, further aligns our activities with higher purpose. It is through humanity and the dedicated action of men and women of goodwill that the purpose and plans of divine will can be manifested. The will to cause consciously aligned with higher purpose can set in motion those events supporting the plan, for every action we take causes ripples of effects. The will to express is the final anchoring of energies in outer daily living. This means living a life expressing to our utmost divine purpose and the plan of evolution. Every facet of life is involved, from our overall purpose in life to daily thoughts, words and actions. The fire of the will to good is available for right usage, but power to express it lies in its group use. As we see ourselves part of a worldwide group of men and women of goodwill, our capacity to give right expression to the will is enhanced. Through holding the group of planetary servers in the circle of divine love, we can think through into human consciousness the needed ideas of sharing cooperation, brotherhood and unity, which can inspire humanity to move towards new evolutionary goals. Through our intensified will to good, we serve as a powerful stimulus to the expression of goodwill throughout the world. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute 
to check your answers.